Are you wondering how and where to register your domain name? In this video, I'm going to share with you how easy it is to register your domain name on GoDaddy's website. I want to welcome you to the WordPress Made Easy show. I'm your host, Jennifer Franklin, and I help entrepreneurs create and grow their WordPress websites quickly without stressing out over design or tech. If you're new here, consider subscribing and ring the bell to get notified of upcoming videos. In this video, I'm going to share with you how easy it is to register your domain name on GoDaddy's website. Let's head over to GoDaddy and get started. Here we are on GoDaddy's website. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to their website along with a couple of uh, promotions that you may want to try in order to save. Um, I think there's one for 30% off and another to get your domain name for 99 cents. If you want to check those out, I'll leave links in the description below. In order to get started, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is search for your domain name. One thing to note, GoDaddy does change their website quite often, so it may not look exactly like this one, but just know that the process is very much the same. The first step is to type in the domain name that you're searching for into the search box to see if it's available. Today I'm searching for a domain name for an upcoming website project that I'm working on. So I'll type that into the search box and go ahead and click on the search button. If your domain name is available, you will see this notification pop up telling you that your domain is available. And you'll notice here looks like I have a promo code that has been applied. Now, when you scroll down, GoDaddy is going to recommend a number of additional options for you to purchase. I just want to caution you here that a lot of these are not necessary. Now, we're going to be building our website on WordPress, so there is no need for us to purchase any additional plans with our domain name. In addition, GoDaddy recommends a number of available alternate domains for us to add to our cart. This is great for GoDaddy because they, this allows them to make additional money on the sale. However, there is no real need to add additional domains um, at this time. I just need one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Add to Cart. The notification will let us know that our domain name has been added to cart. Once we're ready to check out, go ahead and click on Continue to Cart. On the next page of the checkout, GoDaddy automatically adds privacy protection. Privacy protection is really nice because your name, address, and phone number, and all of your personal information is available for the whole world to see and look up. And a lot of times will allow you to get lots of spam phone calls and or emails. So to avoid that, you can purchase privacy protection. What that means is that GoDaddy uses their information in place of yours. So if you want to choose that, go ahead and leave it selected. If you do not want to add the additional privacy protection, you can simply click on no thanks. I'm going to go ahead and leave that selected for now. The next option that GoDaddy automatically includes for you is a free website builder. The problem with the free website builder is, is that it's just not a good product. The website builder is um, not something that I need, so I'm going to uncheck that. Again, we're going to be building our website on WordPress, and if you're interested in learning how to build your web website on WordPress, I can link up to additional um, information on how to get that set up. And lastly, GoDaddy asks if you want to create an email address that matches your domain. This is something that you can add on at this time. You would simply choose which product you want to add. You can always add this later, so it's not a need right at this moment. So if you don't want to add it right now, you can click on no thanks. Once you've chosen those selections, go ahead and click on continue to cart. The next step, you'll be taken to GoDaddy's checkout page. This is the first step in a four-step process. So what I want you to do here is you will simply sign in with your username and password. If you are a new GoDaddy customer, then you will need to create an account. To do that, you would simply click on create an account. 
And here I want you to enter an email address, choose a username, and then a password. Once you've finished those three steps, click on Create Account. Over on the right-hand side, you will notice that the domain is automatically um, chosen for five years. For this example, I am just gonna choose one year. Before you complete your purchase, double check to make sure that your domain name is spelled correctly. And that looks good. Notice also that your renewal rate, will, if you've applied a coupon code using the links that I have in the description below, your renewal rate will be higher than what you're purchasing for today. And then note any other things that you've added to your cart will also appear in the checkout. We've added domain name privacy. And then once everything looks good, you can go ahead and click on complete purchase. Once you've completed your domain name purchase, you will be redirected to a confirmation page. Here, just double check again that your domain name has been spelled correctly. GoDaddy will also email you a receipt. You'll wanna print that out and keep it for your records. And congratulations. If this is your first domain name purchase, then I just wanna congratulate you and encourage you on your online business journey. I remember the first domain name that I purchased way back in 2004-ish. <laughs> it was a long time ago, but I still remember that day and how exciting it was. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful where I share with you how easy it is to register your domain name with GoDaddy. If you're new here, consider subscribing and ring the bell to get notified of upcoming videos. Bye for now.